Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we will learn about decision making in Python or in other words, you can say conditionals. So conditionals helps us, uh, conditionals help us to understand and define the code flow in which we can take decisions about which lines of code needs to be executed when certain conditions are met and it is usually based on the outcome of the conditions which could be either true or false. So let's have a look at this. And before we start with if else construct, let's have a look at few of the commonly used logical conditional statements. Uh, the first one is equals. Whenever you would like to compare two things for equality, you can use double equal there. If you want to compare not equals, then you can put exclamation along with equal sign. If you are comparing two items or two values for less than, then you can use the angle bracket which is uh, defined over here and if you want to compare less than or equal to then you can append equal along with the less than symbol similarly for greater than and greater than equal to so all these are conditionals which are all these are the conditions which we can use on a frequent basis along with if statement or it could be with loops so let's have a look at this very small and simplest if condition so what we are trying to do here is we are checking if two variables among two variables x and y whether x is greater than y or not so if you want to check if x is greater than y you need to place if keyword then you need to place your variable greater than sign and then you need to put another variable and make sure that you are putting colon at the end and in next line you have to follow the indentation rules if you are not doing that you may end up getting some errors so this is the way how you can compare uh, two variables and once this condition is successful this statement will get executed and let's say if this condition is false in that case this particular statement will not e get executed at all let's talk about elif so there are situations wherein we need to define the other constraints so let's say if this condition is not met you want to check whether y is greater than x so in that case you can put elif which is else plus if together so if this condition is not meeting you will put else if which is elif y greater than x and if this condition is meeting then we can get this message printed now let's talk about one of the more interesting scenario let's say you are done with these two if elif and you want to handle the case which is not falling under any of these so in that case you can simply put else no need to define if here because we are working on the case which is not yet uh, executed on uh, from one of these uh, conditional statements so if these both are not meeting then we will get this else statement printed which is both are equal so let's have a look at all of these in action i'm on my jupyter notebook and let's start with the very first thing we can go with the same variable x and y x equal to 5 y equal to we can say 7 now if we are comparing x greater than y if x is greater than y you note that I have added the colon as well as the space which is for the indentation. And here we can say x is greater. Let me execute this line. So in this case, x is not greater that's why we couldn't get anything printed even if i'm running so let's change it to some other value 15 and try to run it so in this case we are getting the message that x is greater than x is greater which is actually the true now let's say you want to compare if x is equal equal y if this is the case then we can say print both are equal let's execute it this time also we didn't get any output because x and y both are having different different values so to make this work i can make x and y both set to 
10. Uh, in this case, now you can see that x and y are equal. So, we are getting the output is both are equal. Now, we can have a shortcut way or a shorthand way to execute the same thing. So, rather than putting the print statement in next line, what you can do is if x equal equal y colon print both are equal. So, now oh, I missed this double quote. Okay. So, if I will execute this line, you can see that although I have mentioned everything in single line, I am able to get the required output. So, this is the shortened way of doing the same thing. You can put here greater than, you can put here less than, less than equal to whatever operator you would like to handle. Now, let's move on to another case which is LF. So, I will take x equal to 10, y equal to 5 and I am checking if x is greater than y then print x is greater and otherwise do uh, keep put an eye on this indentation how am I mentioning over it because this is one of the important thing and that's why I am emphasizing it again and again and now here I will take else if which is elif elif if y is greater than x then I need to mention print y is greater so let's go ahead and execute this line so you can see that first is try to execute this line if x is greater than y if it succeeds or if it returns true then this message will get printed and that's the reason we are having x get printed let's change this value to 50 and execute the same line now x greater than y this condition didn't fulfill didn't fulfill so this condition is false then it came here and it is checking if ah my bad it should be y greater than so here it is checking if y greater than x then it will print this output and in our case y is greater than x so this is the output now let's consider one more scenario wherein we need to handle uh, when none of these conditions are true so i will copy the same thing here and i will change this value to equal so if x is greater than y then print x is greater if y is greater than x then print y is greater otherwise you print something otherwise you print message like both are equal and let's execute it you can see that none of these conditions were true so ultimately this line got executed and we got the output as both are equal so this is the way we can do it and definitely you can go ahead and use the shortened operator which i have mentioned above Let's say you want to compare two things or two conditions together so let's say we have variable like x y and z which is 45 okay now i want to check if x equal equal y and so and is the logical operator here so if i'm checking if x and y are equal in z is smaller than y so z is smaller than y in that case i need to print some message conditions met else i would say conditions not met so here you can see that both x and y are equal as well as z and y this condition is also true and that's the reason we got this output otherwise we would have got this output now instead of and you can have or also which is again a logical operator and one more variation i did here is along with if this time i have directly added else so this is again a valid combination which you can apply it now let's talk about some more scenario wherein you need to have multiple if uh, inside uh, the other one so that is called the nested if 
so let's go ahead and try out one thing if x is greater than 40 or let's say um, x is greater than 10 then I then only I want to go ahead and check if y is equal equal 50 if this condition is meeting then only I will say x and y are good okay else what will I say print only x is good which means only the first condition is meeting okay and here I can directly put else and let's put print statement let's quickly execute it oh, I left some okay here I need to mention colon okay so now you can see that x y and z these are the three values which are considered for this block so if x is greater than 10 which is 50 so 50 is greater than condition is true and that's why we are in this block now if it is checking if y is equal to 50 so yes y is equal to 50 and that's the reason it is executing this particular block so this is how you can make uh, nested if else conditions to handle your complex scenarios one last thing i would like to mention is about the pass keyword which is pass there may be uh, a situation wherein you defined your conditions but you do not want to execute any line of code so let's say x equal to 10 and here i am saying if x equal 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 10 then do something otherwise do something so here i don't want to do anything i just want to just say pass i don't want to execute anything here so in that case nothing will happen so x is 10 we are not doing anything and last statement got executed because this is on the same indentation uh, i would say same line so this got executed because this is not part of our if statement if i will move it little bit this side and try to execute it you will see that this time nothing got printed so this is how we can make our things work using if else construct so hope you enjoyed today's video i will catch you in next video with the, the more information about it as well as with loops till then keep watching